NASA's James Webb Telescope have just made an incredible discovery. They've finally confirmed the existence of a group of seven galaxies, known as a protocluster. And get this, it's located a whopping 650 million years after the Big Bang, at a distance called Redshift 7.9. How mind-blowing is that? It's like uncovering a cosmic time capsule. For all of human history, the question of how the universe evolved had been a source of endless fascination and confusion. However, in the middle of the 20th century, scientists discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation, which was linked to the predicted afterglow of the Big Bang. This discovery helped to refine and enhance our understanding of the universe, leading to the determination of its current age, 13.8 billion years, and the composition of its various components, such as dark energy, dark matter, normal matter, neutrinos, and photons. Our current understanding of the universe allows us to make predictions about the formation of stars, galaxies, and larger structures such as groups and clusters of galaxies. However, the exact details of how quickly the universe evolved on different scales remained unknown, despite the capabilities of our most advanced observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, on the other hand, has the potential to provide the missing pieces of the puzzle by revealing new insights into the early universe. For instance, the JWST has recently discovered the earliest proto-galaxy cluster ever observed, just 650 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery has been described in a recent news release and the research has been published in a scientific journal. The discovery of this early proto-galaxy cluster is an exciting development as it can help us better understand how galaxies and larger structures formed in the early universe. By studying this and other discoveries from the JWST, scientists can gain new insights into the formation and evolution of the universe, shedding light on the key events that shaped its history. The universe's structures follow a hierarchical pattern of formation and growth. At the time of the hot Big Bang, the universe was almost uniform, with matter and energy evenly distributed throughout space. However, due to cosmic inflation that happened before the Big Bang, small fluctuations emerged, with amplitudes of roughly one part in 30,000. These fluctuations occurred on all cosmic scales, from the smallest to the largest, creating the conditions necessary for the development of galaxies and other massive structures. As the overdense regions of the universe grow more quickly than the underdense regions, cosmic structure begins to form. This includes stars, galaxies, groups, and clusters of galaxies, as well as the large-scale cosmic web. Gaining an understanding of the growth of structure in the universe is essential for comprehending its evolution and history. With the James Webb Space Telescope's recent discovery of the earliest proto-galaxy cluster ever observed, we are taking a significant step towards uncovering the universe's growth and evolution. Gravity takes time to propagate through the universe, limiting its reach. Overdense regions attract nearby matter, but distant matter requires more time to feel the gravitational attraction. The larger the scale, the more time it takes for gravitational attraction to initiate. After a structure reaches a critical mass, it reverses direction, collapses, and forms a bound object with subcomponents. On a cosmic scale, gas, dust, atoms, and dark matter are the first structures to collapse and forms initial stars and star clusters and galaxies. The time it takes for these overdense regions to collapse can vary from 50 to 100 million years for greatest initially overdense conditions, and 200 to 250 million years for most common of these overdense regions. One method was to observe a large number of galaxies within the same field of view, at the same distance from us, but with different velocities, indicating they were part of a cluster. The James Webb Space Telescope has made some remarkable discoveries, including the observation of galaxies that have undergone significant evolution as early as 320 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are often quite large, contain high concentrations of heavy elements, and are actively forming new stars. Before the JWST, identifying galaxy clusters was done in various ways. The oldest mature and most distant galaxy cluster as of 2016 was discovered through its X-ray emissions and it was formed 2.7 billion years after the Big Bang, and it contains 17 galaxies, more than half of which are starburst galaxies. However, galaxy clusters evolve from an unformed state through a protocluster phase. To find the first galaxy clusters, protoclusters of galaxies need to be identified, collections that haven't yet heated up their gas to emit X-rays. 
Three smaller area surveys, JADES, GLASS, and CEERS, have already published their findings within JWST's first year of science operations. CEERS has identified a proto-cluster of four galaxies at a redshift of 4.9, corresponding to a time of 1.2 billion years after the Big Bang. However, in the glass field, where a foreground galaxy cluster magnifies the view, seven galaxies have been spectroscopically confirmed to be part of the earliest proto-cluster ever identified, at a redshift of 7.88, just 650 million years after the Big Bang. Hubble Space Telescope images previously revealed a high density of galaxies in the region, but the most promising galaxy candidate, YD4, turned out to be a background object at a redshift of 8.38 which means it's a more distant object which is not part of this protocluster. This study not only presents the most distant protocluster of galaxies ever observed in the universe, but also highlights the importance of conducting spectroscopic analysis to confirm the membership of distant galaxy candidates within a single object. The findings of this study are truly awe-inspiring. It also shed light on the importance of thoroughly observing and confirming all potential candidates that might belong to the same object. In addition to these fascinating discoveries, the researchers estimated that the total mass of the seven-member galaxies in the protocluster is about 400 million suns which is almost the mass of the Milky Way galaxy. Can you imagine that? And this is just a lower limit for the protocluster's mass as it should have grown to at least 5,000 times that amount by now. It's truly remarkable that this ancient system, with only seven member galaxies, has grown into one of the largest and oldest galaxy clusters in the entire universe, more than 100 times as massive as our own Milky Way galaxy. The estimated velocity dispersion of the galaxies in the protocluster is also truly remarkable, suggesting that it is consistent with other known high-mass galaxy clusters. The implications of this discovery are truly astounding, providing a window into the very origins of our universe. The James Webb Space Telescope and the tireless efforts of dedicated scientists have allowed us to witness the universe's growth and transformation like never before. From its humble beginnings as a starless and uniform entity, the universe has evolved into a vast and complex network of galaxies. Exploring the universe is an exciting journey, filled with endless possibilities and incredible discoveries. As we venture further into the depths of space, we can only imagine what other wonders and surprises await us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more interesting content.